What's up guys, today I'm here to show with you my brand new kitchen. first ever home renovation project and it was a lot. I definitely um, learned some things along the way. I just bought this home and I really wanted um, an updated kitchen. This kitchen did not look like this originally. It was like a moon shaped kitchen. I am here in my outdated kitchen and I wanted to document my last meal that I'm cooking here on this beautiful stove. Make it bacon with eggs and chicken and rice. So I'm just gonna walk you through a little bit of the process. We did not have cabinets on the east wall here, so we really like opened up the space and extended it. Coffee bar, or maybe it's another bar, I don't know. Nice little extra cabinet space. Again, we extended to this wall to add storage there, and another cabinet here, a little coffee bar, whatever you wanna use it for. And also turn the angle of the island so that it was just square in the middle here. I went with the white cabinet. I really like the white on white look. So we also went with white tile on the floor. We also painted the walls white. They were blue before. And I got all new appliances except for the fridge. We had a white built-in stovetop before, white dishwasher. It was a white oven over here, which we now made this into another pantry and just did the slide-in oven stovetop combo. Dishwasher is Whirlpool, all stainless steel appliances. There's all my cups. Oh my gosh, I was wondering where all my cups were because I haven't been using this yet. Even did a built-in microwave here. Um, so it's one of those drawer microwaves so that it's built in so I don't have to have a microwave on the counter or inside one of the cabinets. Lots of cabinet space, porcelain tile backsplash. We went with the black trim looks, black handles, black windows, black window sills. I really, really wanted a stone that was mostly like a white base, but had like black in it. That was like kind of dramatic because I knew that on the north side here, we were gonna do a waterfall ledge. I know everyone's going with like the quartz counter right now. It's kind of like the trendy, like cost-effective thing to do. But I just feel like quartz is boring and it's not unique and it's not the real stone. It's like man-made. I found this image on Pinterest, which I absolutely loved. I was like, oh my gosh, this would look so cool next to my hardwood floors as a waterfall ledge. And I ran all over town looking for it, asked so many stone guys about it. It was really hard to find. Actually, one guy told me it didn't even look like uh, typical countertop that it really looked like it was porcelain. I kept looking and I kept looking and I eventually found this, which is granite. And as you can see, it's a very beautiful waterfall ledge. It's just as dramatic like I wanted. It's not the exact same as the picture that I found. It's definitely got more black in it. But what's interesting is this is actually called Black Taurus which this granite is usually a lot more black. But I found like a unicorn slab that was just mostly white with black in it. And I love like the black streaks, the way it looks with the black accents. As you can see, we also got black pendant lights here, some black decor around. So I'm super excited with how it all turned out. And it was fun, you know? It's really beautiful to be able to walk into something you created, knowing you designed it and you basically flipped it to make it something modern and fresh. It's like, the feeling of finishing a big painting times a thousand. Like I said, it was definitely more work than I anticipated, but it was my first ever home renovation project. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's super beautiful. I'm excited now that I have one of these under my belt to do more. If you are a fan of my renovation, please like this post and comment down below what you think of my new design. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed.